Hello everybody and happy 2019. Woo! I'm so happy it's 2019. Literally been waiting for 2019 for it seems forever now. You know, ever since I got my pro card, I knew I wanted to um, compete in 2019 because um, I, you know, I took that all of um 2018 off and man does time freaking fly <laughs> oh my god if you are in your off season right now or if you're in and taking like a long improvement season if you're taking two years off or like one year off um it flies by and i just can't even believe that that 2019 has already it's already here and i'm already prepping and i'm already like doing this thing so Wow, I can't believe that. So yeah, today is January 2nd, and today I'm gonna do a full day of eating for everybody on my low carb, um, low calorie macronutrients. Grams. No. <laughs> Always make sure you weigh out your pita breads because usually these things are off by like sometimes four carbs. So make sure you weigh it out. 48 grams. And the regular ser serving size is 37 grams. So this is about three carbs off. So yeah, all these little macros here add up in the end. And then for my pita breads, I like to broil them so they become crispy. So I'll broil that on 150. And it usually takes like five minutes and then it's good. And then here are my egg whites. And these are the chives from the garden. literally makes everything taste so much better. It's a, it was actually very difficult to prep through the holidays. <laughs> yeah, very, very difficult. Um, you know, Kyle's, Kyle and I's family, we have... Um, they're divorced, so my family's divorced, Kyle's family's divorced, so we're going to all these events, like <laughs> all these different family events, and um, so yeah, I was very stressed at times, and I had a little bit anxiety, you know, just waking up in the morning, I would just, you know me, I like to be on my routine, I like to know what's in my food, and um, I just had a little bit of anxiety in the morning when I would get up, and I'm like, oh my god, we have such a big day ahead, and everything, and um, I was flexible, like for sure, over the um, holiday, you know, break. I had two refeeds on Christmas Day and also on Christmas Eve, and then we just had January first, so we just had New Year's um, Eve too. So um, yeah, I actually didn't drop any weight at all. Um, if not, it actually has holded me back. But you know, it's okay at the end of the day because that's why I started my competition prep early was because I knew the holidays were coming up and I wanted to enjoy the holidays and um, that's why I'm giving, I gave myself a ton of time <laughs> for my show because I'm still like many, many weeks out here um, till my show. So I feel really good today. I am just ready to give this prep my all. The holidays are over, so I'm just like really happy that that, that that's all over now. Um, my stress has gone down a lot, and um, yeah, but definitely very hard to prep. Just like just knowing that you're in contest prep and all of that. And on New Year's Eve, I ended up staying out till 2:30 in the morning. And I only had one alcoholic beverage, so I Kyle said I could have three alcohol alcoholic beverages, but I only had one alcoholic beverage. I think it was just like I don't even know if it was a shot or two shots in my um, drink that I was having, just a little bit of cranberry juice, like very very um, trying to be as low calorie as possible, 
I mean, there is calories in alcohol. But I ended up just having like one drink and then, oh, I did have a little bit of champagne, like a few sips of, of champagne or something like that. But um, I just didn't want to drink anymore. Like, I don't know. Um, but I ended up staying out late with everybody. Um, I was surprised myself that I was like doing that. But yeah, we, we stayed out till 2.30 in the morning. I was just drinking a bunch of like, I was drinking some diet soda and then I was drinking some... Um, sparkling water like what I do when I like go to these events and stuff like I'll I'll have sparkling water and then I will put just ice in there and then I'll put like a lemon or a lime in there so when you're walking around with people or where, when you're at an event with somebody it looks like you're drinking like it looks like there's alcohol in my beverage when it literally has no alcohol in it at whatsoever um, I'm personally not a big drinker at all. Like, I just, I really don't like alcohol. Um, but yeah, I had one drink and I stayed out and I was like, damn, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm proud of myself for staying out. Um, but yeah, so no new low weigh-ins though this, this past like two weeks here. Um, so I'm literally just stuck at like 138 right now. So Kyle made a change for me. So, like I said, today's a full day of eating, so I want to show you guys what I eat today, and I hope you enjoy the vlog. So, okay. Now, I'm about to go do some posing sessions with some ladies here, and yeah, if you're interested in working with me for posing, um, please reach out to me. You know, just send me an email um, at teamcosmicbodies dot, or teamcosmicbodies at gmail.com. And I would love to help you with your with your posing sessions. We can do it over FaceTime, we can even do it over Skype. But yeah, that's what I'm about to do right now. Hi. Hi, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. Okay, and then are you gonna are you gonna try to do an NPC show? Yeah, and that's the Kukla classic that I wanna do. And that is also in camp. Okay. Yeah, I mean doing the summer shredding, like I feel like you're just gonna get some stage time and like understand, you know, just being up on that stage and getting used to the lights and the stage. And then it's kind of gonna be like a warm up show in a way. And then you can, you know, when you go to NPC, yeah. you'll just, you know, you've already been up there before. Yeah. So let's just hit hit a pose for me. Okay. Oh wow, this looks amazing on you. <laughs> really good yeah hit it again okay so what what you need to do is stand completely sideways for me okay good and then take your back leg and let's bend it good okay I want it looking like that because before you had your leg turned in and I want you to keep it out like this okay and then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna give me a big turn and then get those shoulders towards me there we go now hold back Good. Okay, so for you, what I'm going to do is that front foot, let's turn it more towards me, just a tad. And then bring that back foot in um, towards, a, yeah. Step out a little bit with that one. Yeah. So you kind of need to have like a staggered stance in a way. So you're, that back foot, it needs to come in way more. Okay, better. Now bring it back. Good. Okay, this looks really good. And then turn your upper body towards me. Good. This is your pose. Okay. Because you have, like, you know, very big glutes. So I see, like, nice glutes. And then in bikini, we want our waist to just be as tiny as possible. So that's why your stomach, you know, that's why you're kind of going this way in a way. Because you never want, like, your hip bones facing the judges. Like you never want to go like this and like like that. You know, you want to make it tiny. And now what we need to do is we need to work on your transitioning. So what you're gonna do is let's go back to that, that front pose. Good. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring this leg here. You're gonna bring it just in a tad. And then you're gonna shift all of your weight and bend that front leg. Good, okay. Now what you need to do is, I wanna see more glutes. So just turn the glute a little bit more. 
Yep, and then turn upper body towards me. There we go. Okay, so this is my pre-workout meal right here, about to hit the gym, so I'm doing these Kamut puffs, really good, and I'm going to put some almond milk and protein powder in here, there we go, carbs and protein. Back from the gym, and I did a PR today, which I'm really happy about, so I did 55 pounds on each hand with the Bulgarians. Sorry, just making sure that's not overflowing. But 55 pounds of the Bulgarians, so happy. Um, and I did it for three times six. All right, I'm making cream of rice right now and egg whites, and this could be my, um, my post-workout. But yeah, I am getting really strong. I'm really proud of myself. Um, last week, I did um, for, what's it called, oh, RDLs, I did 70 pounds on each hand. No, I did 75 pounds on each hand. Let me double check that. Yes, so last week I did 75 pounds on each hand with the RDLs. So wow, holy crap. Um, and then today I just did 55 pounds with my Bulgarian split squats. So yes, I am keeping all of this muscle during my contest prep. But yeah, so what I'm eating right now is I'm doing egg whites. So, and I, I have a sweet tooth, so what I'll do is I'll actually put cinnamon on my egg whites. So I'll do cinnamon, and then I'll also put a little bit of stevia on there. And believe me, it's really good if you put these together and you put it on your egg whites. And then I got my cream of wheat in here, and then I'm actually gonna put a little bit of egg whites in my cream of wheat. Or actually, no, it's cream of rice. I'm switching it up. I'm doing cream of rice instead of cream of wheat. Um, so I'm gonna do cream of rice right here, and then I'm gonna put some egg whites in it just to fluff it up. And then look, it's just like a pancake, right? <laughs> a sweet pancake. And then look at that. Look how much volume that is now with just um, 70 grams of egg whites. So that just like makes it super fluffed up. High in volume. There is PB Fit on there for just some sweetness. And then um, I usually just lay this on top like that. And there we go. So as this beautiful meal cools down, um, and the lighting's a little weird right now. Yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that, I mean, prepping for a competition and prepping for a show, it is hard. And you're going to be hungry. And I know I don't talk about it a lot, like I don't, because I don't like to complain, but um, Yes, like you are going to be hungry during a contest prep. Like you're gonna be hungry like a lot. Like I'm hungry a lot. Like and I just I don't say it a lot to like YouTube and my Instagram and my you know my stories just because I don't like to like I said like complain about it or whatever I kind of just like suck it up and I, I know it's part of the process right like when I am hungry I just think like oh yeah this is working I'm losing this fat you know what I'm saying so I don't know why people don't get that like I just feel like a lot of people forget about that side of, of competing like people are like like oh it looks so much fun to get shredded. It looks so cool to be lean and get to the stage and people just like think about the stage and, and being shredded and, and looking beautiful up there, but they forget that like it is freaking hard to get there and you're gonna be starving. Like you're literally like starving yourself, like obviously in a c controlled environment and obviously you're still eating and you're still getting food and whatever, but yeah, like your body is, 
is, is starving in a way and you're going to be hungry during a contest prep. So I know competing looks cool. I know it's, it looks cool to be lean and have lines and, and whatnot, but it's a lot of work to get there and you're, and you're gonna be hungry, okay? So I just wanted to say that because like, and yeah, calories get low. I mean, yeah, it would be awesome if I could get stage lean on 1,800 calories. That would be incredible. That would be awesome if I could get to the stage only eating 1,700 calories or getting to 1,600 calories. Like, yeah, that would be freaking awesome and like doing no cardio or whatever, doing just like 30 minute sessions. But like, honestly, no, it takes very low calories to get there. Um, Kyle just dropped my food and now I'm eating close to 1,500 calories. So I'm right today, I'm eating 120 grams of carbs. So it's, yeah, like I'm hungry for sure. And I just want to tell you guys that um, you, I mean, some people are weird or not weird, but they're blessed and they can diet on 1800 calories and get to the stage or whatever, but it's still hard for them. It's still hard for them. Um, but yeah, I'm just saying that calories do get low to get into this elite conditioning that we're getting to for the stage. So yeah, just wanted to say that my meal has cooled down now and I'm going to enjoy this, so. I haven't showed you guys my herb garden here. So for Christmas, we got some plants for Christmas. My dad actually got us some bamboo trees. And then um, Kyle and I got some herbs. And then his sister ended up getting us herbs too. So now we just have like a ton of herbs. But wow, do herbs make a freaking difference in your food. Like I've been using it for literally everything, like with my cauliflower rice. I've been putting all these herbs in here and then making pizzas with like the basil. So, um, and throwing it like in my salad. So let me show you what I have. So here they all are. So that's basil and then there's rosemary. So we got like rosemary in here, basil. These are chives. Um, I love rosemary like on my chicken, so good. Um, and then I think like there's cilantro in here and dill um, and sage. So super cool. This is the little setup here. And I probably should water them right now actually. But um, this is the bamboo trees. So we got this one, this one, that one. And then there's one in the corner over there. <laughs> okay. Oh, and then we also got this like aloe plant too and oh we also have this little tree here but what I want to do is I want to like make a wall because obviously to see there's a road out there like there's a huge road and it gets loud so I just really want like these bamboo trees to like really grow high and so it makes a bamboo wall which would be really cool and we can move them in the back and then Zima is just chilling over there. She's been inside all day, so she's like, <laughs> give me fresh air. But yeah, pretty cool. Kyle, you should water these plants. Cause yeah, when... yesterday. Oh, you did yesterday? Okay. They look super healthy. I can tomorrow. We're, we're putting them here because we did put them like over here, but at this time of year, the sun doesn't hit at this area. So we just have them over there. Yeah, these are looking a little bit healthier. Less yellow. Yeah, when we first got these bamboo trees, they were yellow. But yeah, it's definitely much. turning green now. So they look they look healthy. They look like they're in their home and they're happy. And I have a new pet. So Kyle and I got a pet for Christmas, and I'm gonna show you guys our new pet. <laughs> His name is Roby. Roby. Roby, where are you? Oh, there it is. Hey, Roby. This is Roby. He sucks up all of Zima's hair and he sucks up all of our freaking dirt everywhere. So, he's awesome. Roby, come out. Come out, Roby. It never goes next to his home. Like it's not like it cleans like this corner. 
He's he's getting around. He's picking up all the dirt. So yeah, that's Roby. I just wanted to show you guys. What up? It is 6.30 now, and I just finished a ton of work. I uh, still have a couple more emails, though, to get back to. But I am making my fourth meal of the day. Yeah, I'm making my fourth meal of the day. And I'm making a pizza. So let me show you how I make my pizza. Flexible dieting is awesome because I'm on prep and I feel like I'm eating a pizza. So I got this huge lavish wrap here. I got this from Walmart. And then I have some cheese, what I'm gonna put on there, chicken. And then I have tomato. And I'm going to put some olive oil on there. And then also salsa. And then I need to go get some basil out of my garden. So I, I'm gonna put that on there as well. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Um, I have the oven on 500 and I have it on broil. So it's going to um, just make this crispy. When you're hungry, you drink tea. Okay, I have two in here. And then it's a uh, licorice flavored, so. This is the one I have. So my last meal is gonna be kind of random here, but I'm just gonna make like a big bowl salad type of thing. So um, I'm doing turnips and then this pasta, um, low calorie pasta, and then lettuce. I'm gonna put avocado in there. I'm gonna crunch these on top to make like a crunchy bowl. And then I have like 14 grams of protein left, so I'm just gonna throw in some egg whites as well. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's complete. Okay, so avocado in here, the turnips and the pasta. And I'm gonna put the egg whites in here. Now I added the egg whites. So guys, this is very volume. I love my volume. It's gonna keep me full. It's gonna keep me satisfied. It's my last meal of the night. And then, Let's top it with lettuce and then the protein chips. And there we go, there is my big nighttime salad. And then I crunch those chips on top. And yeah, so there we have it. There is my full day of eating.